everyone, it's Farkid here, and in this video, I'm going to start a playthrough on Planet Crafter. Played a little bit, it's pretty good. This is how fast it loads when you click the start. It's like three seconds. Now I've got to focus on the top left thing because it takes up too much space on the HUD. He moves so slow, you just walk in here to get oxygen. Doesn't matter, the door's open. So get a whole bunch of magnesium and head back. There's a little message thing here. I didn't even know that. Okay, construction microchip. Equip that. Deconstruction. Equip that. And I'll get the light. Oh no, I've got to get this one first. The backpack. Don't even have that. In a better oxygen tank. There we go. Got no more room for other things. Need to start crafting things though now. Ah, uh, the starting place for this changes. Huh, interesting. Usually you start over there. Maybe they changed it in the update. I was actually waiting for the game to update before I um played it. Oh no. Can't place that there. It's good. And just quickly deconstruct it. Let's have a bit higher. Buildings don't need support in this. Seems unrealistic, but it makes sense why. Warning, low power. Oh, that's right. Got no power yet. Here we go. You don't need power to make the oxygen work. Start flooding this with storage containers. But I need a crafting station first. Always place it near the door. It's just how I roll. Make the exoskeleton suit. That's what I need to make. It's a skeleton suit. Take that off, put that on, then put that back on. Careful, take your backpack off or you'll drop all your stuff. These some of these crates. As you terraform the planet, you get access to more things. Okay, time to make a drill. That's the start of it, of a long journey. Eat food now. I deconstruct these, so I know I've cleared them out. Need a lot of iron in this game, so make sure you're always picking it up. Seems to be the most basic resource, but it's what you need the most of. I just dump all my stuff at the start, sort it out later. This game's very forgiving in that when you deconstruct something, you get the resources back. Oxygen is pretty much your only threat in this game too. Like a veggie tube now. Fix it off the list, but I've got nothing to put in it for now. Now yeah, there's golden crates in the game, and there's one right next to the starting area, so I'm going to quickly run over and get that, because it's got an oxygen producer thing in it. It's over here. Oh, I don't make the torch. Now it's really dark. I can't see. Oh, there it is. Have it all. Deconstruct. Oxygen. Before I die. Make that because it's part of the requirement. Tells you how you're going. Blueprints. Tells you when you unlock it, at what stage, and etc. etc. Can't make a heater yet, but I can put this thing inside the oxygen thing. Is that meteorites already? It is. That's why you always have two doors on your base. Because the meteorites can block the entryway. And I think if you got hit by one, it would kill you. I haven't been hit by one yet. I tried. Just wouldn't wouldn't let me, though. Usually there's aluminium in this, and that's what you want. But I can't see anything. Okay, one just landed right here. I'm trying to find the aluminium. Hey, they don't always land with it. I need that torch. There's something shiny over there. That usually means aluminium. Yep. That's aluminium. The resources from meteorites despawn when you save an exit, so make sure you pick them up. I can make it oxygen tank type 2 now. Be good if I could actually make it. And backpack type 2. But I haven't been picking up magnesium because you don't really need it too often. Yeah, <laughs> I like when that glitch happens. Okay, I can make the oxygen tank type 2. Equip that. I can make the bigger backpack too. Take it off. I can carry more now. I'm going to go up and search that wreck now. I don't know if I can get up that way, so I'm just going to go this way. You can later on when you've got your jetpack and stuff. Pick up iron and titanium along the way. Need one piece of silicon as well. Right behind here. Deconstruct. Go far, skin low on oxygen. Right up here somewhere. Door. Oxygen. Lifting station. No power. You need iridium to make a heater, and there's one in there that you can deconstruct. Make some storage containers, I can dump my stuff in here. There's another golden chest up on top of the ship here. What is there? Always deconstruct it, because you get super alloy and aluminium. Make that heater now. Start heating the planet while I go search for things in here. Use duck. Deconstruct the beams. These always have chips in them. Deconstruct so I know I've searched it. Slide these cabinets because they can be sneaky and put things inside them. 
This is how I like to search them. I just go in and get everything I can. I generally don't see if it's that important unless it's um really far away. So this I can decode like a chip. Mining speed and agility boots. I can make that right now. That will help me move faster. Mining chip, magnesium silicon, which I don't have any of. That's my piece here. And the aluminium, of course. Now, aluminium is the bane of your existence when you first start playing this game. Because you realize that it's not very common because you can't find it on the ground. You're going to mine for it later on to get super amounts of it. So I've been down there. I'll go right. See these chests. Some of these ships have fake walls in them too, eh? Construct them. Empty this. Can't deconstruct that because I can't carry the stuff. And I'm full, but I can eat so I can carry the rest. I can carry more than I can fit in these storage containers. Better ones open up, but they're not that much better. I just realized something. I don't have any ice, so I don't have any water. So better go and quickly do that. I already recorded a few episodes of this and edited two of them. I think there's a fake wall somewhere around here. I didn't like how they turned out. Plus, there was a big update coming, which is this. And generally with these games, better to start afresh than try and make do with a new update because I usually change the areas. Oh, panel. I still decode that monocle chip. Agility boots type two. I do not think I can make that. I need to make some more room in here. It's quite often you got little bases lying around. Like a couple of solar panels. This will be my third playthrough. And what I can say, you get a little bit better, but you just get faster at doing things. We've got that if you hold down control, you can build more of something. That's only a new feature though. I'm gonna make a couple of more drills. Yeah, I could probably make a couple of more heaters as well. I can make a lot of heaters. Living compartment window unlocked. Must be progressing. Oh, I put my oxygen thing in here. I generally carry one all the time. It's very rare that I end up using it. I only end up using it because I know I have it. That's a T2. A microchip. An email that I can't read because my oxygen goes down while I'm reading it. And a fusion reactor. But the thing to make that is very late game. Have I got everything? I think I have. It is now. Only one. Because silicon. But I've got more blue chips. Blue chips. Blue decoding chips. This one. Microchip. Mining speed times two. Compass. Pretty useless. Some, at certain points of the game, some materials will be the bane of your existence. Because you can't find the freaking things. I don't think I've ever used the compass once. I've had it equipped, but I've never looked at it and gone, okay, I'm heading this way. Just takes up room on the HUD. <laughs> Take the mining speed module off, and then I can craft the second one. Two alloy indoor ladder. We run back in here and make sure I got everything. There's the item fabric in the game. Didn't I deconstruct this? Weird. What? What I deconstructed these things? There's fabric on the beds and chairs in here, but you can't deconstruct them. So fabric is finite. Don't want to lose it. Make a lot of heaters. Haven't killed my power yet. Okay, what's next? <laughs> this starts melting later on. Tells you, uh, where is it? Starts melting at 100 NK. And that stuff in there is pretty important. More drills. Uranium rod already. Take uh, important stuff with me. I can make those agility boots type 2. I can always come back up later on. There is fall damage in the game too. It's quite forgiving though. Agility boots. I had super alloy down here. So make second one. Means I move faster. I'm not very organized. Veggie tube type 2. Gotta make some of them. It's gonna keep them somewhat sorted for now. As in common resources over here and special resources over there. Lerma, that's the grass seed. That doesn't make any oxygen. Another meteorite storm. I'm too fond of going outside when this is going on. That was rather close. <laughs> Hey. Take the good one out. Put it in here. Right one in here. Used up all my ice making veggie tubes. Floating rocks and materials. Eater times two. Now all this down here, where I am, this all becomes a lake. So you probably don't want your base down here for too much longer. Go for a walk back up to the place to find anything else of value I left behind. See if I can climb up this hill. I can, I just have to keep jumping like a mountain goat. I need to make a type 2 heater. Well, that's pretty easy, just uses aluminium. It's the only tricky part at the start of the game. The resources out the front of my door. Hey, make some better ones. Got room for one more. Oh, it's not going to fit. No. Fitting things in these small cabins can be quite the mission. Oxygen's gone up fast. 
need some of these, but definitely going to need more power. Oxygen tank top three. Yep, I can make that. But as usual, I need more silicon. We'll be picking up cobalt too, because I'm going to need it for the power. Oh, sneaky piece of aluminium down here. Pick off the oxygen tank, T3. Oh, T3 backpack. Yeah, I should pay more attention. Yeah, I can make that too. Pick off the backpack. More room now. Make the T2 drill now. I need a lot more power though. Put that on. Fill it up first before I go out. Right over here. They're all in the same spot. Ooh, there's a chip in there. Ooh, sneaky piece of aluminium. I've heard some people comment saying this game's a lot like Subnautica. I get the vibe a little bit. Most of the negative reviews are from people who really love Subnautica. It's probably why I love the game. <laughs> Feels like a lot of things are easy to craft. And you're right. Doesn't matter how you position things. Just, just fit them and place them anywhere. It doesn't matter. At least I don't think it does. I like to put my heaters up above. And I'll put a ladder in. Cobalt. This little arrow thing that you're seeing down the bottom, that's new. That wasn't in the old update. Food grower. Now let's hope that this time the game gives me more mushrooms because it was quite shy last time. I emptied every ship in the game and I only had two mushroom seeds, but I had so much of other things. I'll decode that ship. Living compartment corner. Mm, it's not something I can use right now. It's definitely something that's handy though. I'm not going to focus on moving my base until a little bit later. I just seen a blueprint come available and I didn't check what it was. Solar panel times two. I'm going to make more of these drill things. I should sort that. Lots of titanium. I use it all up and then complain that I don't have any later on because I don't pick it up very often. Pick down the little one. Big one. Power doesn't go out when the sun goes down, so we can use up a lot of my aluminium doing this. How much have I got? Stock take. Six pieces. That's not a lot. There's no T3 solar panel either. I think I just used up all my aluminium. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I can always get it back. Water and food. Ah, oh, the food growers. I wonder if I should start working on moving my base to the spot I'm going to be building. Double bed. I've never built any of the furniture in this game because I've always saved my fabric. Beacon. That is useful, though. It's more efficient just to leave the base, but I like to pull it down. I believe this is like a base of um, resources and that. Better to do a late game though. You can move faster and carry more, so it's a lot quicker. A lot of resources now. I'm not going to go for any more trips because, yeah, it's getting a bit messy in here. What I'm going to do is go and search this other wreck over here. That's to make a compartment and a door. It's starting to melt. I can already get in there. Jeez, that was quick. Place it out the front of this. I need titanium for the door, so two pieces of titanium. Yeah, I like to make a crafting station in each one. Time to go on in. the cabinets because they hide things in there. Living compartment glass. Communication antenna. Transmissions. Mining speed T3. Super alloy. I can make it when I get back. I'm still not used to the new system of holding down control. This makes it place multiple without having to open up your inventory or your crafting menu. Chip. Oh, it looks super alloy. So I'm probably able to make it all here. Yep, I can. Decode this first. Recycling machine. Yeah, if you're low on aluminium, just keep searching wrecks. It's finite though. There's only so many wrecks in the game. All this mess here. I don't really get over it. This is it. I remember it being much bigger than this. Unless I'm missing something. Vegetu T3. Yeah, it's not even that much more expensive. It's just aluminium. Sky's starting to change color. Now where I'm going to build my base, it's over near here. Oh, there's lots of stuff in this crate. Exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. Now, I don't really like the place, but it's ideal. And that is here. Somewhere around here. Here will do. And then I can move it slightly over. This is the aluminium field, so if you drill here, you get aluminium. Oh, leave that too long. Ah, locker storage. There it is. The thing that you build a thousand of. You can make foundations in the game, but you don't need to. I kind of like to add one or two, make it look semi-realistic like that. That place looks a lot better when it's uh, got water in the lakes. I figured I'll start building it now, so I'll move the stuff from here over there instead of to the old base. Two doors. The hunt for iron has begun. 
Okay, I don't have much of a system. All I know is that it's best to do it like this from there. Mainly because the intersections are real crap. Time to get all the iron so I can make storage containers to bring the stuff back. And yeah, maybe some food. It's more effective to bring back the iron instead of scrounging around for it around here. Because then I'll tap out this area and then when I need it, I can't scrounge around for it. Where I'm going to show you why you do it this way. Oh, place that one a little bit forward and that bothers me. And it should. There we go. Start renaming things. Iron. Aluminum. Then the, um, place it on the other side as well. It's of course one special. Wind's blowing. I'm going to do the other side. Just going to iron it up with that. Same line as that one. This is a problem. You haven't got much space in between. Stocked up on iron and head back. This is around the middle of the map, by the way. Oh, there's a container there. There's another golden chest under one of these bridges. Smash this out and do it all in one go. Like this. What's that chest? There it is. Sneaky sausage. I grab that other one too. There's down the bottom here. I'll just make one for ice for now. You don't need it late game. And plus it all melts. Iridium. Uranium. Super alloy. Actually have one right on the edge here. Food. Water. And I put oxygen in there too. Hey, got everything from here. Eat one piece of food. There's a teleporter in the game. It's very late game. Looking forward to using it, to be honest. I uh, still haven't found a mushroom seed. Makes me sad. I don't know how many more runs I'm going to do because this isn't exactly the most efficient use of my time. Exoskeleton type 2. I can make that. Rule T3. If I take this off, everything's going to come off. Yep, there we go. Need to take that off, put that on, and I can put... All the stuff I dropped back on. I think I got most of it. Sky's going bluish. Purpley blue. Why have we got two rockets? Weird. Yeah, still no mushroom seeds. Mmm, that's a bit concerning. I'm gonna make up my screens now. Screens are a pain in this game, they really are. There we go. Put the screen progress up. Blue sky's happening quite quick. There we go. But I've got no more resource to do the rest of it. Really don't want to go back again, but I think I need to. Put these out. Screen. Put the rest of the screens down. So blueprint one. G levels, why not? Messages. Don't think it's really necessary, but yeah. Right over here. Uh gives you some information story on the game, but yeah. I do think I should be making these now. Whoops. I just made that by accident. Uh I'll save it for the deconstructor when I eventually make it. It's too power hungry though. Oh, you can hold down control in here now. Oh, that's so much better. I'm going to put stuff that I don't need to interact with on top. If it involves glass, it's going to need cobalt. You're wondering if this little lip bothers me? Yes, it does. But I don't care enough to do something about it. New message received. There's a golden chest under one of these bridges somewhere. There it is. Sneaky sausage. The later in the game you find them, the better the stuff that's in them, but you kind of need the stuff at the start. I'm not going to go out of my way to get them all at the start of the game. I don't really need to do that. I'm going to go back and get the planters and upgrade them all to T3. Get all the seeds out. Oh, they take up a lot of space. The T3 ones you can plant outside too. Or build outside. It helps save room. Let's slow down my terraformation index. No. I need to make up, just need water and aluminium. Uh, where do I put them? I like to draw a line with them. Use a lot of silicon. A lot of silicon. Now I've got five there. All the seeds, get okay, the best ones. These ones, 600%, 300%, 200% 150%. So as long as I get the best ones in there. Oh, it's going up fast now. <laughs> need a T3 uranium rod. I think I've got one. Yeah, I do. Make up water. Oh, it's so good being able to do that. Oh, uh, another meteorite. Eh. Good thing your buildings can't get damaged by them. I certainly can get damaged by them. Ah, oh, there's the aluminium. I've got the blue sky. Nothing else pops up. Ants crafting station. Yeah, there's blue sky. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't know how long that took me. 
Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.